I'm not sure if I should put Michael Scott or Stevie Wonder in this video. Maybe I could put them both in there. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Hello there and welcome to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Are you new here? I got lots of videos, you should check them out. Today's Huge Fly Fisherman video is about fly fishing superstitions. Ooh, myths, good luck, bad luck, that kind of thing. It's no secret that fishing involves a lot of luck, unless you're super huge like me. And there are certain things that we can do to improve our luck or maybe make it worse. Hopefully not. Should we start right now? Yeah, let's go ahead and start right now. Fly fishing superstitions. We will start with maybe the most famous one. If you're fishing on a boat, do not bring a banana on a boat. It is very bad luck. You're guaranteed to catch no fish or maybe something bad might happen. So let's say you're fishing in someone's boat and it's been a slow morning. You open up your snacks and there's a banana there. Yeah, guide's gonna throw it out of the boat. Don't be surprised. It's your fault the fishing was bad. No bananas. Hey, just for the record, I don't really believe in this one. So you can bring a banana in my boat. It's okay. As long as you bring some fried chicken too. Okay, next superstition, and I believe in this one. The curse of the first cast. Yeah, it's real. If you catch a fish on your first cast, you might as well pack it up and go home, because you're done. You might get lucky and squeak one out, but you're not gonna have a good day. I've proven this one many times. I'm very good at only catching one fish in a day. That's why I'm huge. Next superstition, and this is one that I mostly agree with, depending on how thirsty I am. You can't drink a beer until you catch a fish. The beer is the reward. You gotta earn it. If you drink a beer before you catch a fish, you're gonna mess up your mojo. All right, next, we're gonna go into a whole category about weather here. There's a lot of weather superstition. Maybe most importantly, don't say the word wind ever. Saying that word is a great way to make it show up. We do have a solution for this. You can say the W. That's totally fine. As you know, the W is a fly fisherman's worst enemy. So don't say win. It's okay for me to say it right now. I'm not fishing. All right, next weather superstition. If you got a big trip coming up, do not talk about the weather in advance. Yeah, you got to plan things with the bros, but do not talk about the weather. If you talk about the weather, it's guaranteed to not be good. If you want rain or lightning or snow, go ahead, talk about the forecast before your trip, but don't be surprised when the weather goes bad. It's your fault. You want nice weather? Just keep your mouth shut. All right, next one in the weather category. I call this one the black cloud. The black cloud is a person. Do you have that fishing buddy where every time you go fishing with them, the weather is terrible? That's because they're a black cloud. Yeah, they're great to hang out with, they're good people, but they have a black cloud over them all the time. I know this guy. His name's Kevin. He lives in Kansas. If you ever want to see snow in Louisiana, call Kevin and plan a fishing trip. He's pulled that one twice on us. Thanks, pal. So maybe you have a black cloud in your group, too. Anyway, moving on. Next weather superstition. This one's the rain jacket. You want to know a great way to make it rain? Forget your rain jacket. But on the other hand, if it looks like it's going to rain, you can make it stop by putting your rain jacket on. If you put your rain jacket on when it is not raining, it is guaranteed to keep the rain away. That's how rain jackets work. Duh. So carry your rain jacket with you, because not having one guarantees rain. The same thing kind of applies to toilet paper as well. You know what I'm saying, right? All right, moving on from weather. Let's talk about fishing hats. Do you have a good luck fishing hat? I've got one. It's right here. It says Lone Star Light on it. So you wear your lucky fishing hat when you want to have good fishing, but also you're not allowed to wash it. If you wash your lucky fishing hat, all the mojo is going to go right down the drain. Not good. Keep wearing that dirty old thing until it falls apart. Next one. Maybe you've heard the superstition that you can't catch fish out of a Carolina skiff. I mean, everybody knows that, right? Well, it's not true. Check out this video right here. We proved it wrong. Lots of redfish there. Okay, here's a fun one from a buddy of mine. Don't release a fish until you've rubbed its nose. Well, what's that do? Well, rubbing a fish's nose makes it forget what happened. So then when he swims away and hangs out with his buddies, he won't remember getting caught and he won't tell them about it. That means you will catch more fish. This is a fun one to do with your kids. Every kid wants to rub a fish's nose. Oh, so do I, really. All right, next fly fishing superstition, calling your shot. 
don't do it. That's like saying, here, hold my beer. It's not gonna work out well. So don't say, oh, I know he's gonna eat it. Ooh, I'm totally gonna catch this one. Because if you say that, you're not gonna catch that fish. You're gonna put your fly in a tree. You're gonna farm the hook set. You're gonna realize you're terrible at fly fishing and you'll defeat yourself mentally. I mean, that's what I do anyway. So don't call your shot. Not only does it look bad, but you're gonna give yourself bad luck. All right, how about a couple personal ones for me? Not everybody believes in these, but they're just little things that I do because I don't know why. I think I catch more fish when my beard gets longer. Maybe the fish like dirty hippies. I don't even know if I really do catch more fish that way, but it's just kind of something I've always thought about. Another weird one I have is I always put my left fishing boot on first. I don't know why. It's just what I do. It makes me feel better. Okay, and we're done here. If you have some fishing superstitions that I didn't cover, leave a comment and let me know. Maybe I'll do another video about this. Thanks a lot for watching another one of my videos. I have fun making them and I hope you have fun watching them. If you're new around here, just so you know, I put out a new video at least once a week and the subscribe button is right there. Like button's right next to it. I make videos that are instructional or informative or just for fun. Or sometimes I make videos where you just watch me go fishing for 15 minutes. Sometimes I even catch fish. Anyway, there's a lot of huge fly fisherman stuff out there. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to stop by hugeflyfisherman.com and buy some stuff to support the channel. I will see you in the next video. Stay huge. It is now hereby established that cork sucking is bad luck.